Limba. Stinze. Jezek. Mova. Jazyk. Lampi mampi. Babuočka. Jauluvana. Sojuj temen. Čupria. Štvr. Sahkosauna. Rždistvo. Upriju. Čutertek. Položiti. Umbrecišare. Što slibeca. Why is language interesting? It is sort of obvious. It is the one thing that makes us quintessentially human in a way. Without language, we do not actually have immediate access to what we think. You can access different worlds, like reading novels in another language, one of the best things you can do, definitely. It makes you see your first language in a, in a completely new perspective. You learn how, how uh, languages work, uh, what they are made of, how they travel with their speakers. C stands for the School of Slavonic and East European Studies and it was established in 1915 and it specializes in the study of Eastern and Central Europe and you can do a BA degree here in Russian obviously but also in um, uh, Czech, Bulgarian, Finnish, Hungarian, Polish Romanian, Ukrainian, Serbian and Croatian and you can also study Estonian in the MA program and languages like Albanian in the evening course program. Um, CIS is in an almost unique place. It's a multilingual and multicultural place. A place where you can actually study these phenomena, multilingualism and multiculturalism, from various perspectives, political, cultural, social. It was watching films, um, learning about the culture, a lot reading books in that language, following the music scene of the country and so on and so forth. So by the end of your degree you're not like um, a foreigner anymore in that language. Eri hakee sanomalehdet ja viedä maisan pöydälle. Hän kirjoittaa pari kirjettä ja vastaa vähän väliä puhelin. The story of a year and a half where I went to a school in London, then I went to summer school in Hungary. And then I met Esther and we started dating. That's how Hung Hungary changed my life. <laughs> I was studying Russian already and I wanted to do it with another language, so I thought Ukrainian was a good option because I'd studied a bit of Ukrainian history at school and I thought it was a really interesting place. But since I started studying it, I've discovered loads of other things that people don't tell you about Ukraine. Like it's very green, very beautiful place. Everyone's very friendly and hospitable. It's a bit more relaxed than Russia from my experiences and yeah, it's a really nice place. When I was doing my research it was really fun. I brought in these little um these little vonalash fusets, <laughs> these little <laughs> grammar booklets. And actually it turned out to be the perfect icebreaker. Immediately, instead of people feeling under pressure that I was going to ask them hard questions about politics, they assumed that I was this adorable, bumbling <laughs> person that had come to Hungary with my little fusets that were ready to ask questions. And actually, it made the dialogue start a lot easier in all of my, in all of my interviews. Students sometimes move on to pursue careers in translating or linguistics sometimes with minority languages, uh, sometimes literary translation, but sometimes they just do something that has nothing to do with the language at all. But uh, having learned a uh, language which is slightly different from the more usual West European languages, uh, that's something that they can probably use as a unique selling point or as their brand. Studying languages in general is a good choice because you are investing in, in a skill that doesn't, doesn't go away. So you can later maybe choose to do law or something else, but you can always use the language skills that you gain. Language teaching happens in small groups and um, uh, it happens in a very um, friendly and very stimulating environment. It's a very supportive environment. And as language classes are often very small, we can give a lot of individual attention to our students and we really have a collaborative experience of teaching and learning. I have learned a lot from my own students and I hope they can say the same about me. <laughs> my favorite word in Serbo-Croatian would be Baksus. It's a word of um, Turkish origin in Serbian. And I like this word because it shows how Serbian is a bit like um, vacuum cleaner language because Serbian has a lot of words from different languages in the region and that's what I quite like about the language. It's actually uh, not even 
a real word as such. It's just hot. And that's because <laughs> Hungarians, it's like saying, <laughs> well, or nah, we'll see. Yeah. And it's very much plays into Hungarian yeah. culture. You say something and you're really into it, and it's something goes, hot. Well, yeah. We'll see. Maybe. It doesn't well, mean, I don't know about that. It doesn't mean much, but it actually tells a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think my favorite word in Ukraine is borscht, which is a beetroot soup, which is very common in most of Eastern Europe. But it's originally a Ukrainian word, and my teacher Marta gave me a recipe for it. <laughs> and it's the first Ukrainian dish that I've cooked myself, and it was the first thing I ate when I got there. And I never got sick of it. It's really good. 